Origins of China's J-11B Air Superiority Fighter. How the flanker design was drastically improved. J-11B today forms the backbone of China's fleet of heavyweight fighter jets, and is considered one of the most capable fourth-generation combat jets in service in terms of both air-to-air -air and strike capabilities. Over 200 of the elite fourth-generation heavyweight fighters are currently in service including at least 70 in the Navy and at least 140 in the Air Force, although the exact number remains uncertain as the aircraft are produced behind closed doors in China and without the need for foreign components. The J-11B's design is based in the Soviet Su-27 flanker airframe, which was widely considered the most capable fighter fielded by any air force in the Cold War era in terms of its air-to-air -air combat capabilities. The flanker's primacy was confirmed by multiple U.S. officials after America gained access to the aircraft following the Soviet collapse. China acquired Su-27 fighters from Russia from 1992, with sales having been approved by the Soviet Union as the only Soviet-era flanker export deal shortly before the state's collapse. Following the end of the Cold War China faced a highly unfavorable balance of power in the air, with the bulk of its fleet formed of fighters at least two generations behind the Su-27 and none of its fighters having even endurance, situational awareness or thrust of the flanker. With the Su-27 having been designed specifically to combat the F-15 Eagles of the U.S. Air Force, which by then had been exported to Japan in large numbers, the aircraft revolutionized China's aerial warfare capabilities even though it was acquired in small numbers. The fighters also came equipped with R-73 short-ranged air-to-air missiles, which when tested by NATO were found to provide a considerable advantage over Western aircraft at short ranges, as well as R-27 long-range missiles which had well over double the engagement range of any missile previously in Chinese service. China briefly manufactured the Su-27 under license under a contract which valued the aircraft at just $12.5 million each in terms of their basic flyaway cost. The jets were designated as J-11s and were overall similar to the Su-27s in the Russian Air Force, but as its domestic defense sector continued to improve the country began to seek more capable heavyweight fighters and began work on an enhanced flanker under the J-11B program. Ten years after the first Su-27s were delivered, the first mock-up of the J-11B was revealed in 2002 by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, which had been responsible for license production of the Soviet flanker design. The fighter began serial production sometime around the middle of the decade and boasted multiple very substantial improvements over the original flanker design. The aircraft made much greater use of composite materials, a field in which China had overtaken Russia by this time, making the airframe both lighter and more durable and in turn improving its flight performance due to a lower weight. New electronic warfare systems and sensors were also integrated, including both a Chinese-designed Type 1493 Pulse Doppler radar and an IRST system the latter which was considerably more powerful than the already formidable original Soviet N001E radar. The new radar could reportedly detect medium-weight fighters at ranges approximately 150 to 170 km and surface warships at around 350 km. New avionics and sensors also allowed the J-11B to operate much more effectively in air-to-ground and maritime strike role than the Su-27 could, an example being its ability to deliver precision-guided bombs and missiles against enemy targets. A glass cockpit, a new optical missile approach warning system, digital flight control system and new heads-up displays were among its other new features. The J-11B made use of an indigenous WS-10 Taihang engine one of the most powerful turbofans ever designed for a fourth-generation aircraft, which benefited from study of American CFM-56 engines as well as the Su-30 and Su-27's AL-31. While the original engine design was less capable than that of AL-31 engine and initially faced performance issues, the later development of the WS-10B represented a major improvement. The fighter also replaced the R-27 semi-active radar-guided air-to-air missile with an indigenous Place-12 missile with active radar guidance, allowing it to engage more targets simultaneously and providing, fire and forget, capabilities against target aircraft. This placed the aircraft on par with the latest U.S. competitors in terms of firepower, with American fighters in the 2000s having begun to field the AIM-120C with similar active radar guidance capabilities and a similar range of around 100 kilometers. The Place-8 air-to-air missile replaced the R-73 and had a similar performance. The J-11 would subsequently be enhanced to bring it up to a closer level to the J-16, 
with the J-11BG fighter integrating an AESA radar thought to be based on that of the J-16 as well as new avionics. These together allowed it to make use of Place 15 and Place 10 air-to-air -air missiles that revolutionized its air-to-air -air performance. This provided upgraded J-11s with an overwhelming performance advantage over standard fourth-generation fighters. In addition, much as the lighter J-10 fighter was developed into the J-10C with 4 plus generation, technologies including stealth coatings, an AESA radar, a reduced radar cross-section and a high composite airframe, Satu is the new variant of the J-11 the J-11D set to benefit from all these upgrades, making it very likely the most capable derivative of the flanker ever developed for air-to-air -air combat it remains uncertain whether the J-11D will also be produced to over 200 units as the J-11B was, or how much of the J-11B fleet will be upgraded to the J-11BG standard. As China continues to develop new technologies for 5th and 6th generation fighter aircraft, however, it is likely that the J-11 series will continue to be enhanced to allow them to compete on either favorable terms or at worst at a peer level with leading potential challengers. Thanks for watching my video please subscribe my channel goodbye.